Welcome back to Ethology classes. Uh, we have been dealing with the innate behavior, the different types of innate behavior. Uh, and we have already completed uh, what are the simple reflexes, the different types and examples. Then we already we also uh, went through motivation as a behavior. Now we are going to deal with the, another type of uh, uh, the innate behavior that is the instincts. Okay. Now, so what is an instinct? Instincts are uh, complex, uh, inborn, inherited, unlearned, uh, stereotyped and species specific behavior patterns uh, that are produced in response to sudden changes in the environment that is in response to stimulus from the environment. So here it is actually regarded as a fixed action pattern which we have already discussed under motivation. So simple way instincts are inborn behavior. It is it may be learned from uh, uh, like con specifics or from other individual group. Th those uh, be these behaviors are inborn and then they are inherited they are unlearned that is not uh, the organism needing learned by seeing it from other organisms they are stereotyped stereotyped in the sense uh, all the animals in a particular species show a similar kind of behavioral pattern with respect to a particular stimulus and a condition then species specific behavior pattern and obviously they are stimulus uh, triggered so um, unlearned species specific motor patterns or it could be like inborn uh, behavior in uh, species specific manners all these are considered as a instinct and the instincts provide immediate adaptive survival value to organism so it is the uh, it is actually uh, adapt for the purpose of adaptation survival uh, in a particular um, environment so they differ from simple reflexes in their degree of complexity so uh, they are the, these instincts are genetically determined and that is why they are inherited governed by complex genes and these can be modified by natural selection uh, that is evolutionary uh, way you can see that it has been passed on instinctive behavior patterns are considered primitive as uh, compared to learned behavior which will be learning in the uh, coming presentations and as said, it is regarded as a fixed action patterns. Uh, the signals which elicit instinctive responses in an individual, they, it is known as a releaser. So the stimulus or the, uh, the uh, what you call uh, the stimulus which is responsible to bring about the instinctive behavior, it is referred as a releaser. So each uh, species has its own unique instincts. Uh, thus, instincts are species specific behavioral patterns. Uh, even when uh, a weaver bird, for example, has never been allowed to see another member of its species uh, making any nest, we can see that the weaver bird builds a nest characteristic of the species. So, instincts you can see that they are inherited. Okay, so uh, they are species specific as well. Instinctive behavior is more predominant in invertebrates uh, than in higher vertebrates, and it actually gives a uh, like survival advantage. The, uh, this uh, um, instinctive behavior is significant in that it provides organisms uh, with a ready-made set of behavioral responses. It needn't be learned as uh, already said. So by birth itself, the organism shows the uh, kind of a behavior. It is already inbuilt. Okay. So this uh, um, like by birth itself, the organism can show the particular set of behavioral pattern if the particular stimulus is being provided. So uh, it is not uh, so complex as a uh, learned behavior so we can see that uh, uh, these uh, what you call uh, kind of behaviors especially in invertebrates or lower uh, vert uh, vertebrates and uh, uh, my, uh, there are plenty of examples uh, we can cite it from uh, the nature like migration of fishes and birds singing and nesting habits of birds then uh, courtship rituals in birds and mammals mating behavior of birds and mammals they are all instinctive behavioral patterns. Uh, of that, we will be discussing, or um, uh, scientists have, ethologists have studied two uh, examples in detail. One is regarding the mating behavior of uh, three spined stickleback fish, uh, it is gastrosteus uh, aculeatus. And another example is the uh, detailed nest building behavior of uh, lovebirds. Okay, so first one we will see the stickleback. The, mate, um, the mating behavior, um, I have al already shared a video in the uh, modern class. So you can uh, like check that as well because there you can see how the behavior is shown by the, what do you call, um, the uh, male and the female uh, during the particular uh, mating behavior. So the mating behavior of, a, uh, of the three-spine stickleback, um, it is a 
it gives a best example for instinctive behavior. Now the male stickleback uh, chooses a mating area and uh, uh, actually it uh, may have a built nest you can see nest with uh, the plant materials or any other such kind of fibers or leaves or something like that and they may have already built a, uh, a nest okay and uh, then what happens is when the female appears they uh, drive uh, you can see that uh, they may have chosen a mating area and they drive away all the conspecific males from the particular site and what happens is these conspecific uh, males are considered to be uh, a competitor for the particular male stickleback okay he then collects these uh, plants and uh, twigs or small uh, and all other such kind of materials and makes a small mound okay that is represent that actually is the nest you can see over here okay so it is built and then what happens is um, he then uh, sorry uh, wriggles uh, through the mount and creates a tunnel and uh, so this tunnel which is slightly shorter than the fish becomes the nest okay uh, now meanwhile um, uh, he develops a coloration usually a orange coloration uh, on the ventral side and that is actually referred as a nuptial coloration okay a bright red belly uh, and uh, simultaneously the on the dorsal side it attains a bluish white coloration so this is actually uh, um, uh, makes the male attractive and it shows other males that it is ready to mate okay then he uh, starts to coat the females okay so whenever a female appears you can see the sequence over here whenever a female appears in the vicinity um, of the mating area he swims towards her and he performs a zigzag dance okay so and uh, uh, continues this dance until a female uh, you can see the courtship behavior uh, he um, like makes the or he leads the female the uh, female follows him and uh, the male then shows the nest entrance uh, and you can see uh, uh, the female uh, enters the nest and uh, lays the eggs okay so actually well, while it enters the nest the male uh, tries to push it tries to uh, like uh, what you call uh, irritate or trigger uh, the uh, posterior part so that it just trembles inside and moves uh, through and lays eggs inside and uh, obviously the female lays the eggs you can see it's uh, uh, in the inside the nest and then what happens is uh, she then swims away the male then ent uh, enters the tunnel and it spawns uh, actually fertilizes uh, the eggs and then uh, what happens is uh, he then guards this particular nest from all other uh, males as well as other enemies okay he stays near the nest to protect the eggs and the young ones the same at the same breeding time it can also trigger or actually make courtship rituals with many other two or three uh, other females and make them lay the eggs in the same nest okay and it can fertilize the eggs uh, in the same breeding season so this is actually a instinctive behavior especially this particular uh, sequence of behavior it is instinctive it hasn't been uh, taught or it hasn't seen anyone doing it but all the uh, like uh, this uh, stickleback uh, the three spine stickle that which actually shows the similar kind okay so female appears uh, gives a head up display the male um, shows a zigzag dance the female swims head up towards the male and the male then leads the female uh, while the female follows them and the uh, male shows the entry of the tunnel actually and the female enters inside and a male tremble thrusts uh, the posterior part the female spawns that is lays the eggs and then male enters the tunnel and fertilizes the egg so the fertilization is completed okay and it is the duty of the male to guard the nest and the young ones from the enemies so this is a, a typical instinctive behavior shown by the gastrosteus aculeatus the three spined stickle backfish another example we have is from the bird community so it is a nesting behavior um, it is actually we, uh, it is seen that um, uh, the instinctive behavior is species specific as we have already seen that is what is explained over here 
um, the first one it is actually the fisher's love love bird you can see over here okay so fisher's love bird they use their bill um to transport the nesting material you can see over see here that is they uh, have collected the uh, nesting material and uh, it is nest is made with uh, long strips isn't it so uh, these uh, strips are co collected by a beak and it is being transported by a beak okay but in the uh, another one african peach faced uh, love bird what they do is they uh, like collect it with the uh, what you call beak but while transporting they tuck it beneath the um, feathers okay uh, the african peach face lovebird carries their nesting material to the nesting site by tucking them uh, the the nesting material in in the feathers so you can see over here how is it doing how it's doing okay so this is a peculiar feature the species it take the it takes the nesting material in their beak and the african peach face lovebird it tucks the nesting material in the feathers and then get it transported but what happens is when these two species were mated, the offsprings, the hybrid lovebird, okay, these uh, had a very peculiar habit, okay. Now, what the um, hybrid lovebird showed is actually the offsprings, they were successful at transporting materials in the bill only. You can see here, that is, uh, they had collected it with the beak, they tried to tuck it in the feathers, but it failed you can see it got dropped up, isn't it and finally it had uh, tried many times to tuck the nesting material in the uh, in, within the feathers but finally what it does it just flies away with the nesting material in the beak okay so it is transporting materials in the bill only uh, like nevertheless they invariably go through the motions of trying to tuck the materials in their feathers first such responses are popularly called as instinctive so instinctive behavior evolves gradually as do um, like other structural parts uh, modifies it to fit the environment in the best way so we can see that instinctive behavior it is most imp uh, important uh, behavior in many of the uh, animal groups okay so this is what is about the instincts uh, what does instinct the two uh, best example for instinctive behavior the species specific instinctive behavior as well as the instinctive the sequential uh, what you call steps taken in the mating behavior of three spine stickleback fish also was explained here okay i hope it is clear right thank you